The Hierarchy of Creation. In this chapter, Hermes summarizes his teachings on the way in which God creates and maintains the cosmos and all it contains. God creates an ordering principle, the mind of the cosmos. This ordering principle continually organizes chaotic matter into a beautifully ordered physical cosmos. Time is one of the principles by which the cosmos is ordered. The existence of time means that everything within the cosmos is continually changing, but in a measured way. God is the goodness that creates life. The mind of the cosmos is the fundamental laws of nature, the permanent and unchanging principles which govern life. The physical cosmos is the beautiful order of nature within which life exists. Time is the governing principle of the cosmos which produces change. Constant change is the process of everything living and dying. The cosmic mind is an idea expressed by the mind of God. The physical cosmos is a thought expressed by the mind of the cosmos. At the heart of the cosmos is the life-giving sun, which is an image of the life-giving soul at the heart of every person. The Hierarchy of Creation A tomb creates the cosmic mind. The cosmic mind creates the cosmos. The cosmos creates time. Time creates change. The essence of a tomb is primal goodness. The essence of the cosmic mind is permanent sameness. The essence of the cosmos is beautiful order. The essence of time is movement. The essence of change is life. A tomb works through mind and soul. The cosmic mind works through immortality and duration. The cosmos works through turning and returning. Time works through increase and decrease. Change works through quality and quantity. The cosmic mind is in a tomb. The cosmos is in eternity. Time is in the cosmos. Change is in time. The cosmic mind is permanently connected to a tomb. The cosmos is made up of thoughts in the cosmic mind. The cosmic mind is an image of a tomb. The cosmos is an image of the cosmic mind. The sun is an image of the cosmos. Man is an image of the sun.